Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Appreciate you tuning in to check out the, this new video. I'm really excited to share this one today. It's uh, something that I, I forgot that I had. Um, so when I found it, I couldn't wait to, to post this for, for you to hear. This is a conversation uh, that's between myself, Gigi, and Razor. Uh, it was taken when it was recorded when Gigi was at the uh, Ann Arbor Y before his tour started, but a, a few day, a few months, I should say, after he was in Tampa recording Carnival of Excess. Um, it's kind of interesting. We're, we're chatting a little bit about the album and also the name that was not used for the band that Gigi didn't care for, and also um, him and Razor talking a little bit about uh, the the backing vocals for Snake Man. Um, I also put up some pictures just to have some visual content uh, while you're listening to this. And, and these were taken when uh, I was went up to North Carolina to Jeff Clayton's place uh, to do the photo shoot for the Anti-Scene album. And then also um, Gigi and I were discussing the Ann Arbor Incident book. I was dropping off a transcript to him up there. And I was in, living in Florida at the time. Um, so, and also, that's where the birth of Carnival of Excess happened, essentially. Uh, but we're going to talk about all three of those topics in, in different videos. But I just wanted to have some visual stuff to look at while, uh, while you hear the conversation between us three. It, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, and I, I think you're really going to enjoy it. So check it out. Uh, like it, subscribe, whatever, and enjoy your day. Thanks again for tuning in. Hey! <laughs> How are you, you slimy devil? You. <laughs> How are you, you slimy? I'm just so damn wonderful enjoying my... Uh, <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a letter to Pro, which will let me out for a year, put me back in prison for a month. <laughs> yeah. Let me write a new album, and then I'll go back again. <laughs> for a little R&R. &R. <laughs> that's it. That's it, man. God, that's pretty funny. Uh, Don't they know they're just... Adding to the whole dilemma. Hey, they're so stupid here. They don't. <laughs> they're just giving know. you a little time to recuperate and get a little more obnoxious. Catch up with my mail. And, uh, <laughs> Do some take writing. care of business. People actually know how to get in touch with me now. <laughs> All these people that have been trying to find me for the last year now can finally track me down. Uh, but uh, yeah, Gigi, man, this Carnival of Excess, man, I can't tell you. I'm, I'm it's just. It's going to be an amazing thing. It is. I, I and, see. And, and hopefully, uh, when it when it is a coming out, I'll be coming out. Yeah. And, that's the uh, thing. Coming out party. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have to fly you down to Florida for a record release thing or something. Yeah, we have a record release party in Orlando. <laughs> I think when I get out, I'm going to play it like I did. So I don't, I don't know what, I mean, I'm sure the outcome will be the same, but. Well, you know, if you think of, if you do think of that band name again or any other ones, just write it down and put in a letter or something. Yeah, else. what I'll do is when I send the transcripts out for the rest of the book, I'll, I'll probably have thought of it and write it down and then we can take that from there. Because I think we definitely, we do need to change the name. Yeah. I, what, from uh, Mudslide? Yeah, or, I just, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm sorry, but... I didn't like it from the get-go, but I knew that I'd change it, so I said, <laughs> <laughs> I'll let him think that, and then when the time comes, we'll just do it our way. Yeah, and then I, I'll I, just I, keep like, humoring him. I thought of a name the other night in my bunk, and I thought, well, I'll remember it tomorrow. Uh, you forgot? I forgot? No clue what it was. Jesus but, Christ, but, Alan. Yeah, Mudslide is it's stupid. It's, it's a little bit it irritating. It doesn't live up to our greatness. I know, that's what yeah, I felt from the, yeah. the start, but I just... It's kind of a put-down, because everything else is too good, and Mudslide just doesn't, doesn't cut it for yeah. me. Well, I sent, I sent that little package out uh, two days ago, so you probably get it in the next yeah, three days. Yeah, I'll probably get it in about a month. <laughs> 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 well, you know, we'll we'll uh, we'll take care of you when you know. Well, I'm not worried about the money so much for you guys. Yeah, so, but, that's cool. Uh, somebody else, I would be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but remember that interview? Did I tell you I did an interview with this guy uh, from New York? It was at the New York that six minute New York show, and he did it with me when I was in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. He called me up, and originally it was going to be for Interview Magazine. Wow. Well, I called him back, and he he told me that he sold the interview to uh, either Melody Maker or, or NME over there in England, those big papers. Mm -hmm. He sold it. He wouldn't tell me how much he got for the interview, but he uh, he sold it. And I don't know when they're going to run it, but he said, to, I mean, if they bought it, they're obviously going to run it. He says he thinks they're waiting for the right time. So... 
Yeah, I was pretty pretty glad about that. But anyway, I, I'll get, hopefully by the end of next week, I'll have the rest of that package to go out to you, and maybe I'll know something by next week. Probably sometime next weekend, I'll give you a quick buzz. Okay. And we'll take it from there, and, uh, you know, maybe by the fall we could have this thing out, or... or yeah, I mean... Whenever. <laughs> I'm a leader. Yeah, yeah this, is, this stuff is great because I mean, nobody's heard it. Everybody's going to wonder what the... They're f- going to freak. Uh, you know, even people that aren't into that type of music should should like it. I uh, think it's hell yeah. to all the music publications in Nashville. Mm-hmm. Even if they trash it and say this is a piece of country garbage, it'll be a compliment to Exactly, us. yeah, man. And try to send one to David Allen Coe. I got his address. Do you? Yeah, send one to him, and if we could get, like, people's responses to it, we could put an ad out and get everybody's responses, like, in, from country people. It would be good as if, if, like, sometime when David Allen Coe was playing, I could go and get my picture taken with him. Gigi hanging out with his buddy, David Allen Coe. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> After the recording session. <laughs> but, uh... No, I mean, the thing is great on its own. Snake Man is great, Gigi. You don't I like that song? That possibly, I don't like the background because I was so out of tune with myself for some reason. I'm thinking maybe if you guys can go in and either you oh, yeah. or somebody in the band do the background vocals. I'd rather have you do it because I think having you on two songs would definitely be I think so too. than one. I, like, I really like that effect of, of the, uh, the background vocal that you did. All right. I think... Yeah. yeah, it'll come out. I think it'll come out. I think it's already great, but I think it will it be enhanced. Be, yeah, it could be better. I see it? what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but I really, I mean, it's yeah. great on its own as is, but it, it'll be enhanced a little bit. I see what you're saying. Yeah, and, and that way, at least, you know, because if, if, if you're on two songs, I think it's better anyway. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get that in there. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. Okay, go. Gigi. Me a cigarette. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, you take it easy, all right? Will do, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to give you guys a quick buzz next weekend if I hear anything and uh, let you know what's happening. Okay, so that press release, I'm going to do that all. It'll be done, so you just let me know when you want it to go out, and we'll do it. You got it. All right, Gigi. Okay, all right, you, take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.